So guys, we're back with more Time Tenshi after about two months of me not recording because I'm really off with these patterns, so I shall apologise for that now. I'm really bad with my upload schedules and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm a I'm gonna try to be a bit better. I've got time to put myself back into a pattern with uh, everything around the world being on lockdown and this is fitting because <coughs> well, where are we? I started back with Time Tenshi because I feel like this is a game series I can just have more fun with because it's fucking shit. Oh, oh, oh I love the games but they're so fucking shit. So let's get back into it. I've not attempted to do the voices in two months nigh on so don't expect them to be good like normal and yeah let's just hop into it now it had been several hours since i went through the time window grandpa had immediately taken me into the experimental lab and looked over me until the effects of the time window had worn off for the other girls oh no they're thinking he's got coronavirus they think he got coronavirus <laughs> I swear I didn't come back to this game because I remembered where I was. Uh, I'm not alone. I may cough on <laughs> They walked in and began their observations. It doesn't seem like anything out of the ordinary has occurred with him. From what I've been able to gather, he's just fine. Heart rate is normal, brain waves are still functioning at the correct wavelength, industrial system has flu hasn't fluctuated, both of estrogen and testosterone levels are completely normal. It's if he didn't go through the time window at all. Could it be that men aren't affected by the time window? It's a distinct possibility, but I don't have enough evidence to say either way. One trip doesn't justify everything after all. Yeah, one trip doesn't take everything, so... Uh, I was trying to think of a real bad war crime, but no. no that took two attempts. Let's not. Let's not try to make jokes out of severe matters. We'll just have to keep an eye on Kenji in the meantime. I'll be looking over the time window and making sure nothing like this ever happens again. Rat! <laughs> Got it. I'll stick in with Kenji and manage his vitals. Ooh, Kyo's watching over me. Yes, that's all I need in life. Everyone else, fuck off. <laughs> Everyone else, fuck off. <laughs> I feel, I feel fine, Kyo. Honestly, honest. No, you bastard. You're meant to try to get as much time with wife as possible. You're a fucking prick and you're useless at this. Get fucking good, scrub. That may be so, Kenji, but we just want. We just want to make sure everything is alright. This is new territory we're wading through, and we just need to ensure we're being safe. I said nothing as Tensai looked over me. I could tell there was worry in his face, but also a look of complete confidence. How the fuck do you pull that off? It's just like, his eyebrows are slightly furrowed, but everything else looks happy as fuck. It's just like, yes, my grandson can die! Yeah! <laughs> Cough on me, you bastard! <laughs> oh, that, one was, that one was too far. He ushered everyone but Kira out of the room, closing the door behind him. Fucking wingman. Ten sides my wingman. Fucking galaxy brain that man has. I love him more now. I laid down a gurney for a while. Several wires attached to various places on my chest and head. Is it bad that I immediately went somewhere dark with the word head? Kyo just looked at the monitors intently. Kyo, I swear, I feel fine. Kyo, is there something wrong? Why did you do it, Kenji? What? Why did you go through the time window? Oh my god, the serious music! The serious music with the most unserious character! Yes, a dramatic scene! Oh, I've completely forgotten what the fuck happens though. Her back was still facing me, looking at the monitors, I was confused. But the confusion only swiftly turned to anger. Anger leads to <laughs> What? Do you think I just voluntarily walked through the time window like it was some kind of midnight stroll or something? Am I supposed to believe that it just pulled you through? As if it had a mind of its own? I know that sounds crazy, but... 
Yeah, it does, Kenji. This is a machine. A dangerous one at that. And I don't want to see anyone getting hurt. Look at this face. It, it screams anger, pain and anguish, doesn't it? Not, not being happy and seeing this do it still. Yeah, th this is this is completely fitting. You could have seriously injured yourself when, when you went through the time window. Accident or not? She turned to me. She had tears in her eyes. Her face crunched up in sadness and fear. When Michelle contacted Rose about... And I about you getting sucked through the time window. I thought she was sending us to find out, uh, sending us to out, sending us out to find a dead man. As she said those words, a cold silence hung in the air. She shook, tears beginning to stream down her face. Yes, it's finally changed. It's finally changed. Fucking Christ, that took too long to even remotely change the model from yes, I'm happy to I'm fucking lecturing you. Yo, I, Kenji. I've only been apart from this team less than a week, but it's my job, uh, everyone's job to protect you. Your grandfather brought you here, knowing how dangerous this environment was, knowing what might happen. The house won't burn down, so... Okay, it, it can't burn, it shouldn't be able to burn down, we're underground. But he brought you here because he wanted you to forget about what happened. Well, I fucking won't. <laughs> To forget about my family burning to death? <laughs> just nonchalantly, just like, family burning to death? You expect me to forget family getting cooked alive? <clears throat> I'm not too sure this is it, Chief. You've just told someone to forget about watching their family cook. Yes, watch family get cooked. <clears throat> my words seem to be a punch to the face for her as if she had to collect herself before continuing. I'm sorry, Kenji. I really am. I know whether you're with me, whenever you're with me, I tend to make you remember instead of helping you forget. Oh, now you've made her cry. <laughs> I really don't mean to. It's just, I think of how horrible it must have been for something like that to happen. I... She got closer to me, walking to the side of the gurney, taking my hand. I looked at her, my face going red. For all the things that have happened to you, the incident, the time window, all of this, you've been so incredibly strong, and me, I've been a complete mess, and I'm not even the one I happened to, Kyo. And for that, I feel pathetic. I get too caught up with other people's problems and emotions. Look at me now. I'm a mess. Yes, yes you are. Your, half your shirt, <laughs> half your dress is off. <laughs> she does out a mix of a laugh and a sob, squeezing my hand, sniffing as she tried to collect herself. What? How would you do that? <laughs> that was pathetic! <laughs> I don't know how. I just hate feeling like this. Like I'm inferior somehow. I always felt like this. Even before you were here. I felt inferior to Michelle because of how amazing she was at technology. Inferior to Rose because of her ability to design. Design. And here I am, experimenting with rodents and making test chain. I'm a fucking rat now. <laughs> yes! Plague! <laughs> I looked at her, squeezing her hand reassuringly before bringing my other hand to her face. This seemed to calm her. Hey, listen to me, Kyo. You're not in. She immediately got happy. This is an it, Chief. What the fuck? Listen to me, Kyo. You're not inferior, okay? You need to focus on things that you're good at rather than the things you can't do. Sure, you'll know Michelle or Rose, but when you're through the time window and you have a whip in your hand, you handle yourself so well. The way you took down those two restraining bunnies the whole time, it was amazing. Kenji's got a couple of kings. Well, let's not shame him. Let's not shame the man. Let's not shame him. So he like whip. First off, he like whip. Secondly, he seemed to like tear. <laughs> So he likes whips and tits. Oh, that, that has to be the name of the fucking video. Um, and look at what you're doing here. Looking over all these vitals. Making sure every single one of them isn't out of the ordinary. Sorry for the voice break. I just can't keep myself composed. This game's fucking hilarious. That, that's true. Come on, Kyo. I know you're stronger than this. Start acting like it. So she lectured at you for nearly dying, for possibly dying, and now you flip the table on her. You absolute cunt. You've no you would her. You've no you would Kyo. Those were the real words. While they took her off guard for a moment, seemed to put her in the right direction. Now she's suddenly happy. She put her hand to her face and wiped the tears. 
wiped away the tears. As she did, she began to remove the wires from her body, gingerly with a smile. Your vitals are normal, Kenji. If you feel anything else abnormal with your body within the next 48 hours, then please let me know, okay? I smiled and nodded as I did. She pulled me towards her in an embrace, and I felt her chest squish against mine. I felt my face go hot as I was locked in a hug for what seemed like minutes. I was fucking take that. What are you complaining about? Suddenly, she pushed herself away. Ah! Clung her throat nervously. Her face was a deep shade of red as well. Uh, um, right? You wanna, like, go hang out for a bit in the entertainment room? Uh, sure. Alright, all set up. Ready to play me? Sure. Uh, sure. What if we play? I, um, I fucked up completely. Generic beat him up fighter five. Revenge of the Revenger. Oh, I want there to be a game actually named that now. That sounds really dumb. Uh, they normally are. A lot of fighting games are <laughs> attacking an entire genre. Yeah, well, it's all we got right now, so take it or leave it. There's thumbnail material! Yes! We've done it! We've done it, guys! We've done it! <laughs> she huffed and looked at me and giggled, handing me the controller. Um, I think she doesn't want to play games right now. She doesn't want to play with those joysticks. She wants to play with another joystick. While we played, I noticed that she played a character with a whip, and that her movements mirrored Kira's a bit, and she tended to kick my butt in most of the rounds. And by most, I mean all. You're fucking shit at this, you absolute scrub. At least take a game off the ego. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> take one game from ego. <laughs> Dang. Set up your game- step up your game, Kenji. Hey, you've got the advantage of actually knowing how to play this in advance. Hmm, <laughs> fair enough. So, um, the character you play as, Vine? Yeah. What about that? Her name's Vine. <laughs> Vine with whip, boy. She seems to have a similar fighting style to yours. Oh, so you figured me out, eh? <laughs> yep, pretty much learned how to fight through this game. What? But how is that possible? I know, that sounds totally silly. I mean, I practiced on my own too, but I always loved how de delicate yet forceful Vine was when she fought. So I started studying it really closely, taking notes and taking pictures of certain moves. Then I started taking lessons and practicing in my own downtime. Between college courses and before I knew it, I could use a whip like none's business. Where did you take lessons? Uh, let's save that, for the, that, that story for another day, shall we? Uh, who, 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 who? Michelle. Oh! <laughs> she always walks around with a whip, so. Oh, that, that, that's kinky. That's kinky. <laughs> that's kinky. That's the problem, Chief. I could see her face go red once again before picking up the controller for another round. We played for the rest of the day, laughing and smack talking until we nearly passed out. Michelle suddenly entered the room at around 11 pm. Alright, you two. It's getting late. Off to bed. Ah, one more match. Come on, Michelle. No, no more matches. Off to bed. We have some research to do tomorrow, and we also need... Uh, I'm, I'm fucking this up. I'm really fucking this up. No, no more matches. Off to bed. We have some research to do tomorrow, and we also need to be ready at all times in case contact is up to anything. So off to bed, both of you. Mm, no fun. All right, fine. Night, Kenji. She tackled me in yet another embrace on the couch and giggled before releasing me, standing and heading towards her room. I stood and did the same, looking over at Michelle before I left, who gave me a quick smirk. Glad you're doing all right, Kenji. I have to say, it's quite a relief. That's now she's going to train. <laughs> oh, no. No. Why did I say train? Why did I say train? Yeah, same. Thank you, Michelle. For what? If anything, Kyo did all the work today. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Michelle looked at me for a moment, before rolling her eyes and pointing me towards my room. Alright, Romeo, off to bed now. You never know what tomorrow will bring. Wait, what is that supposed to mean? Whatever you want it to. Now, bed. It's not going to be what I want it to, you absolute cunt. Kyo not wake up in my bed. She guided me to my room before gently closing the door. I stepped over to my bed and collapsed onto it, still fully clothed, more exhausted than I had realised. It turned out time travelling drained more energy from me than I initially thought. So guys, I'm gonna leave this here because um, I have no idea what to do for voices and yeah, 
uh, thumbnail material. I don't need to do any more. You fucking don't still watch. But yeah, this is it for me today. So I'll see you guys in the next one and have a cool day. Peace.